YouTube, what is going on? Let's go ahead and talk about another project today. This is called Jiro Wallet. This is a wallet on the Cardano network. But before we jump into Jiro Wallet, you guys know I have to tell you I'm not a financial advisor. You should not listen to anything I say. This is purely for entertainment's sake and educational sake to learn about another crypto project. Um, if you are interested in investing in it, please do your own research and make sure you don't invest anything that you cannot afford to lose. With that being said, I would greatly appreciate it if you all would drop a like on the video, comment down below, and uh, if you would please consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy my videos so you'll know when I post new content. But with that, let's go ahead and take a look at Jira Wallet's website. <clears throat> so Jira Wallet is trying to be a wallet on the Cardano network, and their goal is to make everything very seamless and simple. Right, one of the biggest pains right now in the crypto space is that if you want to buy something, you need a wallet that you have to transfer to another wallet that you then have to move all over the place on different websites to stake it and trade it and swap it and all this stuff. And it can be uh, overwhelming for someone who's new to the crypto space. Jira Wallet's goal, and one of their goals is to simplify all of that. So interesting concept, right? Simple enough. Um, Obviously, anytime we can simplify things, the better uh, that will help with mass adoption. And uh, yeah, I think that's that's a good idea. You know, we'll see if it ends up working out for them. Uh, one thing I do want to point out, even though this has nothing to do with the project, uh, I do like their deer logo. I think that's pretty cool. I know that has nothing to do with the project, but I did want to point that out in case anyone from Jira Wallet sees this. I like your logo. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and look at some of their feature set. Uh, like we said, they want to have uh, the key that like is your one-stop shop uh, for the DeFi application in DeFi world. Uh, well, I guess I kind of these are kind of the same thing. Uh, as we talked about, they don't want to have you switching between apps. They want it all to be in the one app or wallet. Uh, they definitely want the user experience to be the focus, which I think is good. Um, even though to be fair, most of the other wallets I don't find the the UI to be confusing or anything. Uh, always do like a a user-friendly UI. Uh, I hate apps and, and programs that are just not user friendly. Uh, kind of to me seems silly that they even exist if the user, the person who's using it, doesn't have an easy time or an enjoyable time using an app. Uh, they want to be reliably stable. Uh, they want to maintain the highest standards in financial security. And they want to also have interchain, interchain and multi chain compatibility, meaning you can effortlessly swap between the digital currencies. And it's built on Cardano. If anyone's been paying attention to the news recently, obviously uh, gas fees on Ethereum are through the roof. So if this is built on Cardano, hopefully we can avoid some of those high fees. If we scroll down a little farther, we do have their tokenomics, uh, 500 million supply. As you can see, I guess I can't highlight that. 36% uh, 30 are going in a private token sale, which I believe has already happened. Uh, the ecosystem and community rewards, there's another 30% that they'll have for that. The team, uh, 20%. They're doing an IDO, which is actually, I think, coming up very soon, which we'll talk about where that's going to be and, and some of the info we have on that. 7% uh, going there, initial liquidity 4%, and some of their advisors get 3%. So if you're kind of interested in where the breakdown of uh, all the coins are going, there's that. They do have their roadmap, or at least their initial roadmap. Again, we are here in Q2 of 2021. They are doing their launch. Uh, they'll have a marketing campaign distribution. They will have their first wallet, or according to the roadmap, they should. Uh, they'll have some swap uh, and staking abilities here. Uh, summer, early fall time period, integration into the Cardano blockchain. Uh, one of the things they are hoping to do is be have the ability for their users to buy crypto uh, straight with fiat, which is kind of a nice thing instead of having to buy, you know, Ethereum, transfer that to a wallet, go to Uniswap, use your Ethereum, swap it for a coin, or if you're on like a pancake swap, BNB to whatever the coin is. Um, so that would be nice. They are also talking about a hardware wallet, uh, potential lending, uh, which could be kind of interesting to me. That That's definitely interesting. Some different securities and some other contracts and assets. Uh, here's the team. Uh, I guess they kind of took their, their photos and made them a little bit artsy. Um, I, I guess that's okay. I kind of wish there was a little bit more information. As you can probably hear, I can't click on any of these, so it doesn't really tell me anything other than this is Sean, and here's like an artsy photo of him. 
I do wish there was some more information. I think it would give everybody a little bit more of the warm and fuzzies, but I also understand there's at least some name associated with it that maybe you can figure out who these people are. Um, but obviously, the more information people have, the more uh, comfortable they are with a with project. Uh, if I click Get Jiro, it just takes me to a card starter uh, pool, so it's, it's not actually available. You can't buy anything if you click this right now. But this is their light paper. If I click on the light paper, this kind of gives you a little bit more information about the project. <clears throat> As you can see, they want to be a Web3 wallet. Uh, Jiro Wallet also allows you to swap stake and margin trade synthetic assets, cryptocurrencies, essentially. Um, you know, they want it to be user experience focused, which is kind of what we already talked about. Uh, this is their problem, right? This is what we've, we've sort of talked about again. Um, but with the steep learning curve of, of trying to figure out the different wallets, uh, you know, again, transferring things around and whatnot, uh, that's, that's what their problem is, right? It says this is basic user needs to learn how to create a wallet, transfer crypto and assets between wallets, stake and swap assets uh, using different applications. They're trying to get rid of that process, and put it on one place. So I like the objective. Um, we'll just have to see if they can execute on it. But as you see, here's their proposed solution. Again, I'm not going to read all of this to you. I think you guys can pull this up on their website. But they're saying the gap in the DeFi starts with the interface we use. And that's where their power is going to lie. They want to bridge this gap by providing essential tools for new and experienced users, making it user-focused, feature-packed, secure, and easier to use. Sounds good. Sounds good on paper. Um, so, again, that that's it. Sounds nice, but again, it's a, again, it's, it's a brand new product. So I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm criticizing it. Uh, it's just when you look at enough of these projects, they all sound so good. So I hope they can succeed. I really do. Uh, it says in the short term, Jira Wallet is designed to be user experience focused, light wallet based on Cardano that supports frictionless, decentralized apps. Um, yeah, I did read in, no, it was on the other article that I'll show in a minute that they are um, going to focus on a browser wallet first. So just something to think about if you are interested in this. Here is their token. Uh, Jira is going to be the native token for their platform um, it's going to be originally available on uniswap as you can see and they're going to bridge it to cardano so once the ido happens which sounds like it's happening pretty soon uh, it should be available on uniswap after that and then eventually they'll make the swap over to cardano so if you want to get in early it does still sound like you're gonna have to use uniswap uh, if you want to get in very very early uh, they're going to have four primary utilities uh, for jira token uh, you'll be able to stake it to receive a share of the platform fees. Uh, you'll also be able to stake Jiro to the appropriate tiers to enjoy free rebates on a variety of services offered on the wallet. There's another one to get a premium tier, unlock several features of the wallet, including but not limited to detailed wallet analytics, tracking, and alert mechanisms. Um, I kind of wish those were uh, just standard, but I understand that they have to, you know, be able to stake and, and whatnot. So and I you know, that's fair. And then also it'll be a governance token where people can vote on what the fees, rewards, and, and all that stuff will be. Uh, lastly, it says Jiro plans to be the token used for all transaction fee payments on Cardano conducted through Jiro Wallet. Jiro, I think I may have said Jira, um, but Jiro Wallet. I do think that's interesting because if you've noticed anything like Cake Token has gone up, you know, through the through the roof, uh, BNB, right? These are all like tokens that are used as a transaction fee um, so that's definitely interesting to me that uh, that could help really if this thing becomes popular uh, be a pretty big deal again this is their tokenomics we already talked about that their team roadmap we've talked about that last thing i wanted to cover in the video is that they are launching their ido on card starter as you can see at the time of this this video this was posted four days ago um, this article does not tell me when the IDO is. Oh, wait, yeah, it does. Right here. Just kidding. I can't read. Uh, Sunday, May 16th. So four days from now uh, is when it is going to happen. So if you're interested, uh, here's some of the information. But as you can see, we've kind of already talked about it. Um, just high level 
here's what they're trying to do. Easily store, send, receive cryptocurrency, uh, regardless of the underlying blockchain, directly buy or sell with fiat. Um, that's pretty interesting, and that's, that's a nice uh, crypto barrier to entry. You know, if we can reduce how much people have to do that, and if they can just use straight fiat for it, that helps. Uh, seamlessly plugs into dApps and services, effortlessly swap digital assets. We've talked about that. Staking, liquidity pool farm, crypto collateral based loans. Uh, this is also down here at the bottom. Uh, very interesting, you know, loans, you know, people can, uh, yeah, gain interest, you know, for, for loaning instead of going to a traditional bank. That's kind of an interesting, an interesting option. But as you can see, this is coming out. So I would expect it on Uniswap probably the following week. Uh, starting the 17th, something like that. That'd be my guess. I don't know that for sure. But given that the IDO is going to be on Sunday, my guess is that it'll be on Uniswap shortly after. But with that, let me know down in the comments what you think of Zero Wallet. Uh, you think if it'll help or not. And uh, with that, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.